How's it going guys? Doing a bit of uh, old tool revival here today. Um, I've got this uh, Duracraft, uh, it's a half horse bench grinder that I've had sitting on the shelf over here. Um, this is actually, this was my, at one time belonged to my wife's uh, grandfather and then he passed it down to my father-in-law and then my father-in-law, <clears throat> when he was getting sick, decided that he didn't need it anymore and told me I could have it. So, um, like I said, it's a 1978, so it's been around, I guess, for 40, 42 years now. And um, I haven't used it much. I've actually got a smaller bench grinder um, with a brush on it. I'll show you. This little guy here, it's a little Craftsman third horse, which is... Um, probably even older than the one I'm working on here. Um, and that one works great, but it's uh, it's got kind of a fine grit uh, grinding wheel on it. And sometimes when you're doing something with heavier steel or, you know, I don't know, if you're doing mower blades or generally it's when I'm fabricating something I want to be able to really, you know, take, take some contours, um, take some corners off of maybe angle iron or something like that. It's nice to have something that's a little bit has a little bit more power and is a little bit more aggressive. So I just kind of set this thing on the floor and done whatever, and it, it worked okay. And then it started acting up on me and um, stopped working. And I actually thought that the switch went bad, and so I took that took that off. I don't know, looked at it, made sure everything was tight, put it back together, worked a little bit, and then it quit working again. So. Um, I decided today to, to look at it a little bit closer and see if I can figure out what's going on. So I took apart the, I don't know if you'll be able to see this here very well. So I took it apart, took the base off, and um, everything in here and the inside of the switch looked like, looked like it was tight. I didn't see any obvious problems with it. Um, but then I took my multimeter and I'm gonna kind of show you, I should have showed you this before while I was doing it, but I didn't. So I'll show you now. So I took my multimeter and had it plugged in. I'll go ahead and plug it in here again. This is, uh, this is the old cord that I took off of it. So we're plugged in, we're hot there. And when I take readings, Right there, I get 24 volts, 25 volts. And so I said, okay, that's not good. Um, so I suspected, and I still suspect, that actually one of the prongs on here is bad. The grounding prong had actually pulled out. That's not unusual. Um, but anyway, so I thought, okay, the cord is likely the problem, so I'm not getting power through it. So. I had this cord here. I don't even know what I took this off of. It's a pretty, it's actually a slightly heavier gauge. Um, I have kind of a tendency if I've got something that's got a decent power cord on it, I tend to cut them off because it's been more than once that I've found a use for these. So anyway, I had this just up in my loft. So went up, found it, and went ahead and ran the new cord through, put some new crimp connectors on there, hooked it up, and what do you know? So that did the trick replacing that cord. And I really thought it was actually the switch that was bad on this thing. And uh, glad I looked at it a little bit closer. So that is great. Cord didn't cost me anything. And so now I'm going to set this thing up so I can actually make it a little bit more useful. And it's just sitting on the shelf. It tends to be, uh, it doesn't get used very much. And when I do use it, it's kind of a pain. And I'm going to fix that. So what I decided to do, and I actually thought about, you know, it's got a little patina on it. Got a little rust and stuff. And I actually thought about uh, taking my little sandblaster and kind of cleaning this up. But put some paint on it, but you know what? It's just a grinder and I'm worried about getting um, aluminum oxide, you know, particles inside there in the motor and the bearings and stuff. So heck with it, I'm just gonna keep the patina. Uh, but what I do need is I need a base to set this thing on. 
Um, I don't really have a great spot on the bench to put it. I guess ideally that's what I would do. Um, but rather than do that, I'm actually going to make myself a base. And that way it can be portable. I can throw it in the corner when I don't need it. And when I do need it, it'll be real easy to roll out. So here's what I've come up with. All right, so I have... This adjustable post, and you know, this is post like everybody's seen before. It's basically just a, a post that goes in a basement um, to support beams in a basement. Um, this is actually a seven footer. It looks like it goes from um, seven feet to seven four, but anyway, it's kind of beside the point. Um, it's a three inch pipe. I think it's quarter inch steel. It's nice and heavy. Um, and then I also have an old rim from an old junk tire that I threw away. So I'm gonna take this pipe, this rim, and I've got some quarter inch plate over there that I think I can make use of. And I'm just gonna make myself a little pedestal out of this. So I think this should be pretty easy to do. This actually, this plate that goes on the bottom, um, First, I was going to try to use it. This is 3 16 and I think that would be heavy enough, but it's bent. It's actually bent in a couple different directions, and I don't really have a good way to straighten that. So it looks like there's only a couple of welds on here. So rather than just cutting this, I'm just going to I'm going to grind or cut these, these two welds off of here, and then I'll free this pipe up. I'll figure out how much length I need, and then I'll, I'll cut it from there.
All right, so got her all welded up on there. I'll be the first to admit I'm not a professional welder, but it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> Weld it all the way around there. On the bottom side, I put about four or five, four or five good beads on the bottom, and looks good. Now, nice and heavy, so that's good. So now the only thing I need to do now is I need to have a need to have a plate for the top that the grinder will actually mount uh, sit on, and I need let's see. So the base of the grinder is six inches deep, and it's eight and a half inches wide. So. I'm probably gonna have to do I've got this quarter inch so that's quarter by three and a half so I could use that and cut two pieces double them up and basically just build myself a plate which maybe is what I will do otherwise I'll have to get some wider steel so I think I'll probably do that I'll just go ahead and take this I'll cut it down to eight and a half inches maybe a little more cut two of those and then I'll, I'll put them side by side, I'll weld them together, and I'll create a plate for myself.
Well guys, there you go. So, kind of a quick and dirty stand. I need to get some different bolts. I don't, all I have is just some little, those aren't even long enough to go through, so it's not worth messing with those. But get a couple bolts in there, tighten her down, and we're gonna, we're gonna be in good shape. I think it's gonna be, once I get it bolted, it's gonna be nice and sturdy. There you go. Well guys, hope you found that kind of interesting. As you can see, uh, this is all just basically scrap that I had laying around um, that I threw this thing together with. And I'm gonna, this is gonna be really helpful with this rim on here. I can roll it around the corner, drag it, pull it out whenever I need to, and it's gonna be a lot more accessible and I'll actually be able to use it now rather than just having it sit on the shelf. So, um, hey, if you, uh, if you like watching videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got some more coming up. I've got to do a, um, I'm gonna actually be installing a uh, winch and also a uh, spare tire mount on my trailer, on my uh, 18 foot flatbed here coming up pretty soon. So um, if you like wa watching fabrication type stuff, watch that and you can see how I'm gonna hook that up. And I'm also gonna probably, um, I've got an idea how I can actually hook that winch up. I'm gonna, um, well, just, just subscribe and you'll see what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna set it up in here too so I can actually use it as a winch inside my shop. Um, so hopefully that works out. It should be pretty interesting, but anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.